craft, we are going to make rope from embroidery string. Basically, it's a bracelet. Has a knot at one end, and then this opens up. So you can put it on your wrist. This is a little smaller one, so I will walk you through the measurements. I'm going to choose three colors that I like. Green, purple, and pink. You need a stick. This stick is about 24 inches long and what I've done is I've put hammered a nail in. This is going to help me do, I need to twist, twist, so I have to um, use a nail to hold it on one end. So I've marked off a foot, 18 inches, 22. With your string, you want to measure 60 inches, so here's 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. So all you need to do is measure one because then you can just cut the other two to um, the size of the first one that you measured. It makes it a lot easier. Hard part is untangling everything. But for 60 inches, that's not very much. So it doesn't have to be exact, but try to make it as close as you can. So there's one. I'm going to cut. You don't want to just pull on this because it knots up. If you can, you untwist it kind of like this. Makes it a lot easier. And put them together. Just run it down until you come to the end. And snip it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you straighten it out. You're gonna you're gonna put it uh, in half. Hold the two ends together like so. I'm holding these two ends. You need your stick, and you can kind of. You could do this on a flatter surface and you just start to twist one way and it'll start looking like that. You want to go to the very end until it's super, super taut, which means tight. And when it, if it starts doubling up on itself, then you know that's that's what you want, is kind of that doubling up. <clears throat> you want it just before it starts to double up. Because what we're going to do is bring the two pieces together and they're going to wrap on themselves. This makes a really good thickness for the bracelets I've found with the embroidery string. You could, um, I'll, I'll get to that part, but you could add beads to this. I'm not going to, but, or you could add beads later, but that is kind of thick, so. <clears throat> Maybe I'll add some beads. So once you get this taut, it's gonna take over a few minutes to get it twisted. It's easy enough to drop it. See how it's twisting up like that? That's what we're gonna want, because we want it to twist, twist up but what you could do before you twisted it up was slide on some beads and then the beads will be incorporated into 
the rope itself, which is kind of a nice effect. Let's see if I can find some beads for that. So I'm twisting, keep twisting. All right, in order to um, do the beads, you need to have, I don't have any that are, are as fat in the center. I have very, really, really narrow cen uh, centers on my beads. But I know you can buy some fatter ones um, at the art stores and stuff like that. All right, so I'm almost to the end twisting. See how it's bunching up? That's what we want. I have to get to the very end. I'll show you how far I've gotten. I'm just twisting, twisting. You know, everybody's size may be different if your wrists are are thinner. Mine are pretty thick, so this one won't fit me. But that would fit probably a nine-year-old. So keep twisting, keep twisting. Okay, there I'm at the very end. I was going to try these beads just to show you how you could do it. It might be kind of random because I don't, I'm not sure how you could hold these on there when it folds on itself. You kind of just set them like that. See what? Oh, just this is an experiment. Some people don't even like beads on their bracelets. I'll just try three for right now. So, so then, what you're gonna do? This is about two feet long. I'm going to go to the 12 here and I hold my finger here and just lift this over to the end. See that? Holding it to the, the beginning and here's the end. And then I'm just gonna let it wrap on itself. It might be tricky with these beads. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so it wrapped up on itself. We wanna pull it. Let's just see if we can straighten them out. I'll take this off the nail. make that go down at the end. See how you can unravel it? Move these around. That's kind of cool. So I'm just kind of pulling it and getting the lumps out. I want to move this one down a little. Then you get to the end. There you go. You could use this as the knot and put it through. So that's a good length for me. The other thing you could do is not put it here and have it be where the knot goes through. So let's just, for fun, let's just move this down and then twist up again. The reason why it's twisting is because one rope is going this way and the other is going this way and it wants to wrap in on itself. Okay, so there you go. Now, kind of measure how, you, how wide you want it and then we'll tie the knot. I'm going to do a couple of them. So one, two, let's go three, three. 
So this knot, let's cut the end, is going to fit in here because you can unravel this a little bit. So to put it on, just get your finger in there, wrap it around, find the knot, and pull it through. There you go. I think I'll wear this today. <laughs> All right, friends, that was the craft for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy crafting.